Okay, so I just wanted to touch base. I finished tr trimming my hair. Basically, it's just like literally this much. I don't know if you can see that. Let's see if it focuses. Okay. Okay, that's not really focusing, but it's really small. It's like very small amounts that I cut off. And I usually just cut off a little bit and then I'll finish. And then if there's things that I missed, I'll check it out tomorrow when my hair is dry again. But it's looking like really full. Like my hair is looking so full. It hasn't looked this full in years. Like my hair has been like kind of thinning. I mean, the other video I did, I had just washed it and did the video. But this is like a few days unwashed. Um, so it's like way more full. You know, so I got like the frizzy hair going on a little bit today. But that's okay. I think it looks pretty good, you know. It's like a nice look for me. Anyway, so I'm going to get ready to put the oil on my hair. And I will put a link in the video of all the oils I use in my hair. But I can show you again the ones that I'm using right now before I go to bed. So I'm going to put the black castor oil in my hair. You can see that? From Tropical Isle Living. The black castor oil. So I'm going to put that in my hair. So I put about, I don't know if you can see that. I put like a little like palmful. And then I'm really working on growing this front part here. So I put it a lot in there. But then I also put it all over my scalp and it feels so nice because you're just kind of massaging your scalp. Oof, oof, that feels great. I haven't done this in so long because I've been away and it feels amazing, amazing. Yeah. Okay, start putting this on my scalp. <sighs> if you don't ever massage your scalp, you need to start trying because it feels amazing and also, it's good for your scalp because it um, stimulates the scalp, which is nice. And it also will help with hair growth. Just in case you didn't know that. There's also like these combs that they sell that vibrate that are supposed to help stimulate your scalp. My mom had one of those, but then she gave it to my sister. So who knows where that is? Just kidding. Um, but anyway, I've I don't really like them so much. I'd rather just use my hands. Okay, so next I'm gonna put the Red Pimiento Hair Growth Oil by Tropical Isle Living. Yeah, so that one. I just kind of put it on in different places. that in there and now I'm just gonna massage that in to get to the place that's all over. Oh that feels amazing. Okay. So then, I also have been using this one, the Just nu Nutritive Gr Grow New Hair. This one here, which I think I showed in the other video. Um, so I'm using that as well. And this has like a whole bunch of different oils. I just put a little bit everywhere too. massage that in as well but I'm so glad the hair in the front is growing because it was really like it was so sad I mean it looks kind of crazy right now because I have all these like little fly hairs in the front but I'm also I have struggled a long time embracing my curly hair I'm not gonna lie it's been kind of a challenge for me and so this has been helping um, build a relationship with my hair, like a better relationship. Doing all this care to my hair with all these oils, which is nice. And then the last thing I do is use some heated coconut oil. I heated the thumb up already. Um, some people use the microwave. 
I don't have a microwave. I don't really like using a microwave. So I just put some water in a pot and then I put this in there and then I heat it up and then you want to make sure that it's cool to the touch so you don't burn your scalp. So anyway, you put that on. Spread it around. And also when I do these oil treatments, I try to like either wear no clothes or clothes. I don't care if it's stained because oil stains your clothes. So obviously with the black, it's a little bit nicer and it doesn't really stain so much. So, but it's kind of nicer to do this without any clothes on because then you don't ruin any of those clothes that you own. You want to get that all up in your hair, all up in the roots, all up in your hair, all up in the roots. Okay, cool. Now my hair is very, very lubricated with oil. So what I'm going to do now is kind of do like a little bum thing. Do this bun thing. And then I clip it up too. And I already can feel that I did miss some spots when in my little trim that I did. So I'll look at that tomorrow after I wash my hair. I'll wash my hair, let it dry, and then I'll get the little um, split ends that I missed today. Or when I cut it last. Yeah. So then I have this little wrap, wrap around thing in the jiggy. Because it helps with your pillow, not to stain your pillow. But I also do sleep on a towel, and even if I slept on the towel, it does stain just a little bit still. Um, but, yeah. So that's it. Now I'm ready to go for the evening. I'm ready to go. So, super simple, super easy. I do that pretty much twice a week, um, depending on how often I wash my hair. So mostly twice a week, sometimes once a week, honestly, because my hair is just so dry that I don't often wash it that often <laughs> but anyway I hope you liked this video if you did please give a thumbs up uh, leave a comment below if you have any comments or questions and make sure you subscribe to our channel below that way you can get notifications when we put new videos up and just so you know if you didn't hear the first time well this was a video of me putting oils in my hair and how I've been helping my hair to regrow because it's been falling out. So this is my hair journey. Hopefully you liked it. And until the next video, bye.